I loved being pregnant. It was an amazing feeling. The ultrasound where we found out that there was something wrong was supposed to be the last thing before going in and delivering a beautiful yeah. baby boy. And the tech said, uh-oh. I remember them saying that it would be impossible for him to survive outside the womb and that he would likely be brain dead. It was two horrible choices. Having a third term abortion or have to wait the last month of pregnancy knowing that we were going to have to give birth to a baby who could not live. Yeah. It would have been torture. Within a couple of days, we were on a plane to Wichita. I remember arriving at Dr. Tiller's office and having all of these protesters outside, and I felt like this was the last place we wanted to be. I remember us meeting Dr. Tiller, who was so kind and so sorry that we were there. He kept reminding us that nobody wanted to be there. And then it wasn't our fault. And then it wasn't our fault. Which I kept needing to hear. He made sure that we knew he had kids of his own and grandkids of his own. And that he was a man of faith. Yeah. And so to be able to connect in that way, I thought was really comforting. And I don't even know if you know that every day when we got back to the hotel and you were sleeping, Dr. Diller called me to check on you. While we both felt a sense of loss, I think we also felt a sense of gratitude that we could allow Elijah to rest in peace and not have to struggle. When I read about some person shooting Dr. Tiller, I totally freaked out. I think I was in my office and you called me and told me and I was stunned. I was so angry. And I thought about other couples who were probably there that week. What were they going to do? How did that change their lives? There's nothing about this experience that would fit on a picket sign or on a political campaign slogan. It's way too complicated for that. And every single person has their own unique story, just like ours, yeah. people he's helped. I want him to be remembered as a compassionate and courageous man who was there to help people during the darkest times in their lives. He, he was so deeply needed by so many people. <laughs> 